Thank you, Heather. What can you, can you hear me now? Maybe. I see bars moving on mine. So hopefully that means you can hear. adjustable. All right, hopefully that's not so loud now. I've turned it down. So I was saying before when you couldn't hear me, um, had some technical difficulties, had to change out PCs because my other one died. Uh, something happened with the motherboard just randomly. So, um, we're going to jump into my next Nancy Drew game on the list, and it's one of my favorites. It's Message in a Haunted Mansion. came out in the year 2000, and uh, it's got a great story. It's got great music, and um, yes, that is unfortunately by design. I will attempt to ad adjust the speed in which chat can move, but it will be slightly delayed but I do now have my chat up where I can see it all the time. So I will be able to monitor that better. So, um, <clears throat> and we will be playing on Senior Detective, which means there'll be less hints, more complicated puzzles, um, and tougher interviews with suspects. So shout out to Heather. She got me this really cool journal that's made from an actual Nancy Drew book cover. Um, and then it was made into a journal. So of course I'll be using this to write notes in for our, uh, for our game today. So, and my shirt, I also got a shirt, but I'll show you that another time because it's in the wash. Okay, so let me get the game running here. Hopefully it didn't rain as much as uh, it did here for me. It was totally fun being caught in the rain. It was one of those storms that kept, it just basically sat where it was. It didn't move. And that really sucked. <laughs> Jordan. 
Listen, my child, to this story of dreams, and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, so much when the memories. eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his... Hopefully that is balanced wrong. We're gonna start a new game. Hi, it's Nancy Drew. Hi. Welcome to my latest cyber mystery. Message in a haunted mansion. Choose your difficulty level to start off. If you're new to adventure games, you might want to click on the... Dear Beth, Hello from stormy San Francisco. This time I'm staying in a beautiful Victorian mansion. You'd love the room I'm in. It's full of old Chinese furnishings and some interesting knickknacks. The owner of the house, Rose Green, is a friend of Hannah and asked me to come out and help her with some renovation work. She and her friend Abby hope to turn the place into a bed and breakfast by next month. But from what I gather, Rose isn't sure if she can open in time. Ever since they started the renovations, They've had a lot of accidents. Could it be just bad luck, or is there something more sinister at work? <laughs> I'm sure I'll find out. Love, Nancy. Classic. Again, the music just really does it for me in this game. It's so good. This one, I do remember the ending of, but... I don't remember how we got to that point, so that's where it'll be interesting. Alright, as always, uh, whenever we see symbols or patterns or things that could be codes to help open it, um, we always write them down. So. I'm, I know to write this down as well, so this is what's going in. I know this is like riveting watching me try and draw this. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's the first of probably many that we have to write down. We have our key here. We also have a little pocket watch that'll tell us the time. And then this is just general help button over here so you can just ignore that for now. You know, if on the outside it looked like really crummy looking, right? But like on the inside it's kind of... Oh, that's right, that's right. We have to use our clock occasionally because we have to be places at certain times. A lot of these dragons. Dragon. <laughs> That's awesome. It's stuck. It's stuck. Okay, so there's something we'll need on, for some reason with the bedpost. Listen, my child, to the story of dreams, and know that the beginning is more difficult than it seems. When the ten daughters are reunited in order, when the four-sided box loses its border, when the eye of the phoenix is in your hand, when the bird of fire can see again, when the moon sleeps and the sun plays, the king of the sky will shine his rays, and hidden beneath a river of colors will lie a gate to golden waters. Thanks for the follow, interested Coretta. Welcome. Alright, so let's see if there's anything else in here. We do have a it's secret locked. and it's locked. So that answers what this key is for. A nice little 
notebook. So I guess this will be populated more as we, we kind of find more people to talk to and things that happen. So, good to know. Good to reference. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, look, there's the hint that I was talking about. Um, okay. So let's go explore. It looks like we finished exploring the room. Let's go out of the room. this is red which makes me think that there's something to click on but it's really directional it's misleading um, like red in the other game meant you know something to go look at so this will be uh, an adjustment Nancy, I see you've arrived safely from your long journey, but I'm sensing an aura of danger around you. I can tell you're an inquisitive type, a little skeptical, and that you don't believe in ghosts. Oh yes, of course, we always play on senior level, so. Um, uh, ghosts? Why are we talking about ghosts? How do you know I don't believe in ghosts? <laughs> I know many things. I know how to communicate with the spirits, and I know things about people that they don't tell me. Call it intuition or ESP. The spirits in this house are interested in you, especially since you don't believe in them. Watch out. They may give you a rough time just to get your attention. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Does your intuition tell you who could be behind these recent accidents? I'm not sure. But for some reason, the name Valdez has a strong connection with this mansion. Valdez? All right. Well, right. see if we find anything around a Valdez. Do you have any more oh, information on Mr. Valdez? Now, if you will please excuse what? me, I need to prepare myself for this evening. At that time, more will be revealed. Rude. Okay, and she's meditating. Oh, snap, another person. Hello, Nancy. I'm very glad you could come out here. We can really use your help, seeing how far we are behind schedule. Are you all ready to do some renovation work? Hmm, I think we'll find out I more about I can't this. wait. Last night, you mentioned some accidents. What exactly happened? I don't know where to begin. It started out with some small but irritating things. But then the scaffolding collapsed. And just last week, we had a gas leak. I really don't know whether I can stand much more of this. I would love to have a week without any accidents. Doesn't sound like a lot of accidents. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, that's just a few. <laughs> Not really suspicious. That's too bad. And you've done such a terrific job with the renovation. Do you know much about the original owner? Almost all the records on these old houses were destroyed in the Great Earthquake. So we don't know much about the origins of the place. Abby thinks all our accidents were caused by some restless spirit or a curse. I'm not one to believe in bad luck, but it's been one thing after another. Maybe Charlie doesn't have the expertise for these renovations. But his rates are so affordable. I sometimes wonder, though, if this old house would be worth more burned to the ground. Enough chit-chat. Hannah tells me you're a real pro with puzzles. Take a look in the corner. Those wood tiles should fit inside the inlay pattern of the floor. Abby and I tried for hours, but it's just too complicated. I'm sorry for not introducing you around, 
but everyone posts their schedule here in the dining room. It's kind of like Command Central. Let me know how far you get with that puzzle. And thanks again for helping us, Nancy. So I have played this one, but I haven't played it in probably close to 20 years. So um, there are pieces and parts that I kind of remember. There's definitely a lot of nostalgia because this was like the first Nancy Drew game that I played. Um, and, and I'm going back through them in order, right? So last week I played Secrets Can Kill, which I, again, haven't played in 20 years. And I definitely did not remember that one. So that was a really great, like, interesting experience again. So it's been fun to kind of work through the, the couple games so far. So it's been a long time since I've played it. But again, this one was one of my favorites. I was super excited to play it. I didn't. I thought it was going to be one of the later ones, but here we are. Ugh. All right, here we go. All right. I always get really confident, like going straight into these, and I'm like, I can do this real fast, and then later I regret it because I totally messed it up. I do remember wood grain is important. In this, if I, hmm, maybe that one's not right. We'll see. Yeah, I think this one has to go here actually. Oh, and you can rotate these. Oh no. Um. Okay. I was just assuming you didn't have to do that for some reason. Because of those wiggles. I'm not gonna say that right. So I apologize. Abdus so girl. Abdus so girl, thanks for the follow. Hopefully I said that right. The line in that one makes me think that's where it goes. Mm -mm -mm. What? You have to be so careful with your mouse on this. I did it. Oh, okay. We did it. <laughs> what if we all were like Nancy and said, I did it after we finished things. How's that inlay puzzle coming along? <laughs> it's too easy, Rose. I finished it. Wonderful. But now I've got something else for you. I set up a ladder <laughs> upstairs so you can chip off the broken tiles on the hallway ceiling. You'll need to look around for a chisel or paint scraper for the job. I'm not sure where Charlie keeps them. All right, a chisel or a paint scraper. We'll keep a lookout for that. You do? You say, I did it. <laughs> That's good. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Abby mentioned something about tonight. Let's what see is what Abby doing. planning for tonight? She's putting on some kind of seance tonight to contact these ghosts or whatever she thinks is causing all of these accidents. Did you meet Abby? She was the drama coach back in River Heights, and we worked on a couple of plays together. My bid on this house was too low, so she pitched in her savings to help me get the place. If it weren't for Abby, I couldn't have afforded this place. No. Oh. I mean, it's San Francisco. Things are not cheap there. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Goodbye. All right, let's explore the dining room. 
It would be too convenient for a paint scraper to be right here, right? Paper? Yes, paper. All right. I am doing a replay marathon. So every weekend, uh, Friday through Sunday, I'm going to try to do that every weekend from 6 to 6 p.m. Eastern to 8 Eastern. And occasionally we might jump into some other games to try them. There's a couple that we found while uh, researching like online escape games. That was one I think we wanted to try. Um, Stray just came out. I think that's another one that would also be fun to play. So there'll be a couple things. Yeah. And you haven't gotten to meet them. There's one right behind me. I've got cats, so of course Stray was appealing when it was being, uh, just like talked about when it was coming out. So, all right, so we have a Lewis, Lewis, who's here from noon to five. See, we don't have a cell phone in this game like we did the last one, where we could snap a picture, which I felt like was cheating, but whatever. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And then Abby is just out from 3 to 6. Okay. Oh, there's a drawer. Bullets in it. Nancy's not really shy about poking around at people's stuff. Like, Rose is right there. Rose Green. I have amended your fire insurance policy per your instructions. The property located at 4653 California Lane, San Francisco, California, is now insured for the sum of a million dollars. I wonder how much it would be today. Against fire or earthquake damage. The policy lists you as the sole benefactor. Ooh, not Abby. And uh, you would think Abby would be on here too. We thank you for your patronage. Please feel free to contact me. Helen O'Leary. Um, hmm. She did say it would be potentially worth more burnt to the ground, which is, hmm. Kind of a weird thing to say. Okay, and there's no way to go out that door. We've already seen the paper. Yeah, <laughs> it was a strange thing to say. Bed and breakfast monthly. Cat napping. What? Uh, okay. Classic revival. What is... What are we supposed to read out of this? Like, it's really hard to read. Oh, well, helps when you click on it. You'll love the drama this four-poster bread brings to your bedroom. Simple to make and gives your bedroom a truly continental look. Because everyone, that's the look everyone goes for. Continental. Uh, materials. Ew, for a twin size? Come on. <laughs> Who's sleeping in a twin size? 56, 6 inch, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm not reading all the ingredients. Whatever. The supplies. Ingredients? Pre-cut all the pieces, insert PVC, blah, and short print. Again, why? Why do we need to know this? Do we need to write down the numbers? Like last time we had to write down numbers, right? These are all italicized. Maybe I should write these down. Twin mid numbers. I'm gonna be better at writing notes. Last time I had really struggled with, why didn't I write this down? 56. So 
five, three, six, two, I don't honestly have no idea if this is even helpful, but it will be a reason that we had to read this. Hmm. Okay. So I wrote down all the italicized numbers. Oh, I missed one. Right there. There's two. Okay, now I wrote them all down. Renovation to the U.S. Fair. Okay, I don't see anything else in that. All right, so we already still already talked to Rose. That we looked at that part of the room, and that's the only way. Out. Okay, it's a pretty doorway. Oh, of course it's the basement. There's a person. Hi, you must be Nancy. My name's Charlie. Charlie. Um. I'm not going straight into the accident question. I feel like that's a little too bold. Let's go with that first one. Nice to meet you. Rose and Abby really have their hands full with this house. Yeah, most of these Victorian mansions need a lot of work. But I don't mind getting my hands dirty, you know? This place will look great once it's finished. Um, hmm. Okay, fine. We'll ask about the accidents now. <laughs> he doesn't seem so bold. Do you think you'll be open in time with all of these accidents and delays? Um, yeah. Well, now that you're here, sure. Wow, that was really... <laughs> you silly. don't sound convinced. No, I am. I, I mean, I, I know Rose is all concerned, but you got to expect a few things to get out of control with these big projects. Accidents happen, you know? That's what I was saying. Like, it doesn't seem like a whole lot to really warrant that be a concern. It, she listed two. <laughs> sure, but why so many? I have no idea. People are blaming me, but it's not my fault. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this work. Listen, Nancy, I really need to get back to work. I'm repairing some floorboards, so be careful walking around. Rose was looking for you earlier. Maybe she has something for you to do. See ya. <laughs> now that you mentioned it, yes, they do sound like Ned when you call Ned in the previous game. I'm not done talking Hey, Nancy. Yet. I really need to finish this up. Dang it! Sorry. Okay, fine. Oh yeah. Well, that would make that would explain why then. Good ear. Uh, I didn't catch that. <laughs> it's stuck. Uh. Okay. Ned is Charlie. Charlie is Ned. Um, musical something? We have to look for music notes, probably. Wonder if that paint scraper's down here. Bed breakfast on the rise. Um, been a rise in number of bed and breakfasts decline in business over the last couple of years. A mystery dinner show would be really cool in a Victorian house. That would be awesome. Some his... Hotels have historical importance or even a legend attached to them to make, uh, to definitely be more popular. Okay. 
Not totally sure if there's more in that. It's a weird angle to look at. Something maybe with the mirror. Non alcoholic drinks and how to mix them. Minty Festival Punch. Um, yeah, that sounds. Oh, serve it warm? That might be good. Uh, Ginger Whisper. Soda Water Ginger. Okay, yeah, that sounds good too. Bubba, you can come up here. Desmond decided to come by. Say hi, Desi. So, um, hmm. Why do we need to know this? <laughs> Is there something that we need to come back to for this? Let's come back to this. Remember, it's here. Desmond has parked himself right underneath the microphone, so you may hear a lot of purring. Because he is one of our louder purrs in the house. <laughs> Probably just extra content for sure. Just a red herring. Some cool old pictures. California theater. Scandal. Horror. Outreach. Citing the increased popularity of stage reviews and declined charitable contributions, the Lady Protection, Ladies Protection Society has announced a shocking new strategy for raising much-needed funds for the benefit of widows and orphans in our region. No longer will the good ladies of our society hold garden party garden parties, afternoon tea, or cakewalks to solicit contributions. Instead, the, there are, uh, these proper wives, daughters, and mothers will act on stage like common tro troubadours. Troubadours. Tr <laughs> He's so loud. Troubadours in several popular plays in order to raise money for their good works. As decent gentlemen, we should not allow the fair sex to denigrate themselves to this level of vulgarity. Women belong in the house, not upon the stage. That certainly does flare up my feminine side a bit. I do not like this. All right, so, hmm. Let's see what else we can find in here. I should wait until he leaves. Oh. Well, uh, oh, what's this? Yeah, what kind of stuff are they doing on stage? Um, the rope, the rope is cut. Hmm. Wonder what that's about, too. Oh, my. The Phoenix! That's right! Showing their ankles, probably. <laughs> There's a good chance, yeah. <laughs> That's the scaffolding, I think, that they were talking about. <gasps> hey, Scraper! What other goodies do they have over here? Whoa. 
This is an ugly looking staircase thing. Um. Yeah. Big old staircase that probably leads back up to where we were a moment ago before we talked to Abby. A, a lamp? We're just looking at a lamp here. What's going on? Okay. That was weird. We still have. We haven't found Lewis. Lewis. Oh yes, the parlor. All right, let's go left and then right. It's good to know what's here. Oh, we can't take it with us. <laughs> um, that's not a good sign that if she's pointing out things like a fire extinguisher. <laughs> um, American speak some telephone call. There's the Valdez. E Valdez from uh, this address. Hmm. Uh, dear sir, we're pleased to announce your bid for the auctioned property located at 4653 California Lane has been accepted. Fee simple estate interests have now been transferred through the charitable trust set up the prop by the property's uh, rander for the benefit of the Ladies Protection and Relief Society. And this was in 1906. Okay. You just have to sit there right underneath the microphone like that. <laughs> You're loud. Does she get to play the violin now too? Okay, you can't go that way apparently. Just go this way, they go this way. Someone needs to dust in here. Subterranean San Francisco. Labyrinth below. Few people know the fascinating world below the streets of San Francisco. And yet a myriad of strange and mysterious sights lie in, a, in wait in the subterranean darkness, only to be uncovered by the intrepid urban explorer. Over the past 20 years of city splunking, I have found old mines, abandoned utility tunnels, secret rooms, and many old wells and cisterns. Careful attention must be paid when searching these lost areas to avoid accidents. A good light source, building plans, hard hats are a must. San Francisco has gone through many changes over the 400 year history. The continual cycle of buildings, disasters, and rebuilding has created an intricate vertical record of urban development. Yeah, I don't know if I would be going around in tunnels and stuff under the city. How would you be able to do that truly safely? Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. There are more books and stuff. Why can't we go in that corner? Oh! <laughs> Excuse me? What? Begin with what? 
am I looking at here? More things. Oh my gosh. This is an eye test, you guys. Okay. Dear Hugh, I'm doing great. How are you? Yes, the rumors are true. I bought myself a Victorian mansion. Oh. It's something you should mention, Abby. She's actually the one who decided to go in on this adventure. No, on this venture with me. You're still in the process of restoring the place it's a lot of fun but also a lot of hard work Whew, this is hard to read we're beginning to get a little worried that we'll fall behind schedule if we're not careful there have been several accidents lately that have interfered with our work after you visit you can stay in the Chinese room something just bought some new furniture for the room oh my gosh I I'm just waiting for the wallpaper this doesn't sound like it's very important it's just talking okay that was hard to read dear Rose how are you doing I haven't gotten a message from you in some time I hope life is treating you well Last I heard of you, we're in the middle of planning some sort of crazy scheme to buy an old Victorian mansion. So whatever became of that? Did you buy it? Now how can you afford to do something like that? Did you find a partner to help you lead this plan? I hate to admit it, but I haven't been up to the whole lot lately. Life around here has been pretty dull. Nothing too great is happening here. Blah, blah, blah. Um, how's your cat? She has a cat? Why haven't we seen a cat? And that friend of yours, Abby, the last time we spoke, she talked a lot about gold and its great spiritual significance. Hmm. Maybe I'll follow your lead and take an ambitious project my own. Um. Alright. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's much in this. Whoever Hugh is, thanks Hugh for making my eyes cross. And ugh, like an animal, I have to type out the numbers. Oops. We're sorry, your call from another game. I don't know if I know that one. Was that from the second game? Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Nancy, how are you? And how's Rose? Great. I'm really glad you had Rose invite me out here. Her house is so beautiful. I'm so happy you're out there. But I'm worried about all the accidents she's having. There's just been so many. She what has Rose said about them? She doesn't say much, but I know they've become worse and worse. That's one of the reasons why I asked you to visit her to see if everything is all right. This mansion must have cost a fortune. How did she afford it? Rose spent her entire life savings on the house. If this doesn't work out, she won't have 30 more years to earn the money back. Well, I should let you get back to your renovation work. Okay. Thank you for calling. There's probably no reason for concern. But be on the lookout for anything unusual. Goodbye, dear. Uh, Bess and Emily. I guess we'll call them if needed, but... Ah! 
back you're got a bad bad line buddy who's that guy hey there's another person hello i was so wrapped up in my book i didn't hear you come in mm -hmm. my name is lewis chandler lewis i didn't mean to startle you i'm nancy drew I came out to help Rose and Abby with the renovations. Yes, well, I'm very glad you're here. Are you a friend of Rose? Yes, I like to think so, but I'm an antique dealer, and a client told me that Rose and Abby had recently acquired the estate. I'm an authority on the Victorian era, so they were only too happy to let me use the library in exchange for my advice on the renovations. Let's stick with the history one. You must know a lot about the house's history. Actually, I'm a bit in the dark about this particular property. However, as far as Victorian mansions go, I don't see anything remarkable about this one. Hmm. What are you using the library for? Research. This library contains many rare books and documents that predate the Great Earthquake. It was quite a find for a student of the Victorian period, such as myself. Okay. What are you looking for in these books? Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm a... quite busy at the moment. And although I'd like to talk, I really don't have the time. Please, excuse me. Oh, excuse me, sir. You're just literally sitting here reading. You've got time to chat for a moment. I'm sorry, but I really must finish my work. Perhaps Abby can assist you. Good day. I mean, Nancy did ask it kind of snarkily. Oh. The theory of music! See, we knew we'd have to have music in here. Level one. All of these combos are short. Yeah, uh, it does seem really short. Am I just not asking the right questions? <laughs> Alright, so I am a little musically inclined, so this is stuff I know already. But the staff, treble and bass clef, and the notes for each. So if you don't know them, you can always snap a picture real quick for your notes. I hate music instrument puzzles. <laughs> I it de I don't remember any particular puzzle in this that required the music, so I don't. Hopefully, it's not too bad. <laughs> it won't fit. Uh, what am I? I'm just poking at it. I'm not putting anything in it. It's stuck. Clicking every time it's red to see if it's anything different. Hmm. This whole library of books, and I don't have. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Legend of San Francisco. Applegate Lizzie. Oh, yes. Well loved by San Francisco, both for her cultural and humanitarian contributions, Lizzie Applegate was a talented actress and songwriter who began her career entertaining minors at local gold camps. In 1880, Lizzie wrote and started a tremendous successful play, The Bandit's Treasure, whose cast included Norma Dentfin, Lynn Porce, Ghost, and Pam Dory. Who comes up with these names? Um, this initial success was followed by a string of other hits, including The Riddle of the Chinese Box, 
the fire in the phoenix eye in rainbow's gold. All right, so I do have to pause here for a moment because all of those things were in that tapestry that we saw in our room. Except for the bandit's treasure card. So she's definitely, anything that we find with Lizzie related stuff we need to pay attention to. Cause that's gotta be, that's not a coincidence. The cat is stretching out on the desk. The music though, yeah. It's, it's the bandit. It's so good. Uh, oh. Okay. Okay. So I think that's a Chinese symbol on that one tile piece. So we we will want to capture that. Though I don't know what it means yet. I still want to write it down. Are there any other tiles? No. Huh. watching the mouse. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> the history of the piano. Here's your music again. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. Upright piano player. So that's what's in the basement. It looks like just like that. Keyboards contain <laughs> all, uh, the white notes are called naturals early as 1361. Examples with familiar key compositions found in modern pianos were depicted in visual arts. Very cool. So, because we can play the piano in the basement, we know that we'll need to probably remember these notes that are associated with each key. But we still don't have music yet. Like, we know that that will be something that we, we need to find. So, snap a pic of that, too. That's easier. known as the firebird this mythical giant bird occurs in let in the legends of many cultures including chinese arabic and american indian nearly 500 years the bird builds great nests and set itself on fire to rise forth from its ashes this is one of my favorite um orchestral pieces is the firebird you can thank fantasia 2000 for that not to talk to you. Alright, so we have this tile that looks like this one. Let's put it, it here. It won't fit. Alright, it goes there. So, we need to find like two more. <laughs> he does love his mama, but he loves his daddy more. He's a daddy's boy through and through. Alright. Let's 
go find Abby? Or should we do the... Well, we haven't gone up these stairs yet. We should probably check them out. Just to make sure there's nothing hidden over here. So I guess we'll, what time is it? Abby should be back. Cause it's six o'clock. I, I can't, I, I can't see when you're doing that. Whoop! Uh, I'm not feeling bold enough yet. Let's close that. Just whipping it open like you own the place Nancy all right so she said something about scraping some tile which if I remember correctly was over here yeah I need a paint scraper like this one it's locked of course it's locked. all right So we need to look for a key somewhere. I want to go back in and see this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I wanted to look at this again. The bird of fire. Okay, so we know that that's the same bird of fire. Hmm. So Charlie should be gone. It's after six. Maybe we should go downstairs. wish to speak to you, Nancy. Tonight, I will channel their energies to deliver a message. Meet me down in the basement, if you dare. Please sit down. Mm. We really don't have time for this. Let us begin. We are gathered here tonight to contact the shades of those who have passed before us. Gaze into the crystal ball. It will answer all of our questions. What's that? Who has called me forth from the great beyond? We have. Are you the spirit known as Valdez? I was once called that in the world of the living. Are you the spirit who has caused these accidents? I have come back searching for her, my wife. Where can she be? The spirits have spoken. The seance is over. We've got a busy day tomorrow, and no more time for these games, Abby. And make sure you blow out the candles on your way up. I don't want to wake up and find the house on fire. Oh. Back upstairs again. Well, I wasn't done. All right, so it's 10 o'clock at night. Yes. All right, let's go poke around some more. Because we were going to go see Charlie. Yeah, we were going to see Charlie's um, 
what was back there because he had stuff we wanted to see. Meow. I don't like that. Did you see that? Over here? Yeah, everyone keeps mentioning fire. I don't like that either. Alright, there's no one down this hallway. Right? Spooky shadow, stay over there. Alright. So, Charlie's not here. We can play here. Okay. Look at the thing. Seems kind of like expensive for that time. Okay, so we can't go behind the bar. What you got in here? Bless you. Uh, okay. We picked up a screwdriver. Okay. So the candles aren't here, so there's no fire down here. It's stuck. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I was out of town for work this week, so... All the cats have been super clingy. <laughs> Alright, so... Like, we saw the lady on the mirror. How did that work? Hmm. Oh, hell no! A spooky shadow followed us! No, no, no! And there's no one in this hallway. This game, it, I forgot how spooky it is, yeah. Ghost Dogs is worse. It is 100% scary. Though, I have to be honest, I haven't played a lot of the newer games, and I've seen some trailers of them, and I I don't know how I feel about that. Like, some of them do look pretty scary. I don't know. I don't know. Creaky. Yeah, we're not gonna touch that. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Yeah, the, we don't wanna knock that over. <gasps> oh, wait. I like Nancy Drew games it's geared towards snooping. Me too. Um, if it's too much like I have to go talk to someone to get an answer, mm, I, I like to go and like solve the puzzles, I agree. Oh snap! I forgot about this. Um, okay. One, two, three, five letters. And they do turn more than one. Oh, that one's just one. Okay. So we'll be on the lookout for a five letter word. That could be a code. 
So, I wonder if this this key is the one that goes up here. We don't have any other locks, right? It's locked. I think this was just it. Nothing pops out in here, right? Mysterious storybook. She pushed her auburn hair back behind her ear and continued the arduous work. Each pile of dirt seemed heavier than the last, and the damp night air was stifling. Somewhere in the distance, a clock struck midnight. Suddenly, the sound of metal hitting metal resounded from the bottom of the pit. Carolyn dropped to her knees and quickly dug around the dull metallic chest. Soon the lid was uncovered, and she pried its lock open with her crowbar. Ooh, a crowbar. We might need one of those. Um, her eyes flashed as she saw the chest's contents. A thousand pieces of gold glinted in the soft moonlight. Captain Stu Stubings? Sure. Treasure, the young heroine cried, and soon it will be mine, a gruff voice interrupted from above. ruh -ro. Before she could react, Carolyn saw the backside of a shovel for a split second, and then darkness. When she awoke, she could hear the faint clink of gold pieces hitting one another. She struggled to stand up, but found herself, her both her hands and feet tied together. She slowly moved her hand to her back pocket, but found that her pocket knife, or pen knife, was gone. Looking for this, Mr. Niles grinned, standing over her with a knife in his hand. I know how clever you are, and I took the liberty to remove the contents of your pocket. Please excuse the liberties I have taken. No. No, I do not excuse you. Um, I'll do no such thing, you villain. That treasure belongs to the Stuberg family, and you know it. Alright, not sure what we need out of that. But maybe it's a nice nod to Carolyn Keene. Maybe so. Even though they're not a real person. It's locked. What? Does it's this work? locked. Oh. found a crowbar just like the story how convenient the story told us there was a crowbar yep. more puzzles the better agreed oh my goodness it's handwriting again that I can't read Kevin need you to sit We dined with the something in a strange quarter of Shanghai known uh, as the Enchanted Dragon. This is really hard to read. Something showed me to the lovely... It looks like it says murder, but that's not what that says. That she had purchased the... As the meal progressed, an elderly man approached me selling a something puzzle box shaped like a pyramid. There appeared to be no hinges or any oh god I can't read this <sighs> something about the box trying to get it open the artwork was magnificent and I became enchanted not only with the contraption but with the art ingrained of the kind of old man my mind ran wild with the possibilities of creating a hotel oh, a struggle no there's more pages uh, 
our puzzle full of trapped in trickery just like that pyramid box. I'm sorry, this is not making sense to me either. In my broken Mandarin, I asked about the old man. Uh, something about employment situation and he became embarrassed and my dining companion something <laughs> why, why isn't we reading this even in the far east are different from a woman This is hard. This is not good. Alright. So it's obviously a journal talking about this puzzle box and her inspiration for a hotel. And then something about at the end the differences in cultures. That's all I can get from that. God, that was really hard to read. But the coffee in Peru is far hotter that's right is much hotter is much colder we get the steam <laughs> I would get the steam for sure uh okay creepy doll head and we picked up an iron like a for clothes iron Have yet to find any music. The Golden Gate Gazette. Ah, oh, there's a tile. That's such a random thing. Something about making a hotel where the rooms are puzzles, puzzle boxes, and the man became embarrassed by her forwardness and asking to hire him. Thank you very much. I didn't get all of that, so. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of scary. This thing there. Alright, so I think we've thoroughly searched this room. Okay, so we still need to look for a key. It's locked. Ooh, yeah, yes, we know it's locked. In classic Nancy style. It's locked. Alright, let's go back here. It's stuck. Well, it's a good thing we found this crowbar. Put it to good use right away. Okay, what time is it? Almost midnight. Hmm. Is there anywhere else that we need to snoop around? Oh, we need to go see Charlie. No, not Charlie. Lewis. Handy dandy crowbar. Let's go see what Lewis has got going on. Woo! Put the tile in too. It won't fit. Yeah, yeah. All right, fit. so we're looking for one more tile as well. So our key and a tile. All right, Lewis, what do you got going on over here? He's reading about chess. Of all the things, chess. Okay, so the knight, unlike any other piece, has the ability to move in an unfixed path. It leaves one square and a rise at another without going anywhere in between. In effect, it can leap over pieces and land at its destination. An example below, the knight is able to travel to any square marked with an X. I always remember it like an L shape. One, two, over one. Yeah. One, two, over one. Over one. Hmm. Why is he reading about chess? Alright, so we need a username and password. 
for Charlie's computer. Woo! Uh, okay, I didn't read that fast enough. Okay, forward, left, back. Oh my god. Okay, so I got that part now. Sheesh. Does this open the laptop? Is this worth the time to do? I can't turn. I can't turn. <laughs> it was a trick to this game. Uh oh. Honestly, I cannot, I cannot navigate this. What The instructions for this are so fast. I have to pay attention. Hold on. Give me one second. Rotate. Oh. Do I use my keyboard? Ah. Uh, you can use your keyboard. Ah, uh, haha. -ha. I'll do that instead of the mouse. I'm pretty sure it's going to drive me crazy if I keep doing that. Hopefully, it's not too crazy of a puzzle. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I think the the keyboard's gonna be the better thing for me. Okay, so I feel like we took a loop there. Let's go this way. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're getting somewhere. Oh, no, maybe we're not. We're back to this blue wallpaper. Just, just make yourself comfy, buddy. Oh, uh, I think we're almost there. Oh, we turned the light on. Feels really long. <laughs> like, is it? I don't remember it being this long. Oh no, which way do I go? It looks like there's a light switch in that way. I just make a circle no look at it's different but it's dark in here oh scary face no If this is the security of your computer is to just complete a maze, then we need to talk about your security criteria. Uh-oh. I'm gonna stick with this side. no one's getting seasick watching this uh, uh oh 
do I stick with the tile or to go back to the wood? I don't know why I think tile, but... It's that face again! We've already seen that face! Oh no, you think we should stick with the tile? Oh wait, there's more faces. It's not the same faces. Hmm. Is this the face we saw when we came in? Legit dead end. Oh no! <laughs> I think... <laughs> Let's give it another moment and you then, then I'll... Yes, I think a hint would be help, would be good. So. Let's go this way. We didn't go this way a moment ago. There's a light switch! It was like that math game that we used to play. Uh, is this really a dead end? It is legit. All right, not that way. All right, what's the what's the help? What's the hint that you can give? Right? <laughs> Otherwise you're at it for hours. <laughs> okay. So I somehow got in this little loop over here, right? So how did that happen? That's a dead end. So the little red spots are doorways, not dead ends. Whoops, wrong way. <laughs> you just button smash. I would never have thought to button smash because everything is usually point and click in this game. So good on you for figuring that out. Even if it was out of frustration. This is still blowing my mind. <laughs> what? Mm, I don't feel like I'm going the right direction over here either. Yeah, I feel like I'm not. So I'm going to go back this way. Right? I don't know how I got here either. Okay, so I go through this little do-had thing. 
Anything that goes that way. Oh, that was, I is still blowing my mind a little bit. the beginning and then I'm gonna be mad at myself. <laughs> uh -huh! Yeah! Alright, Lewis, we don't need your password. But, oh, That was something. Alright. San Francisco City Guide 1888 Hotels. <laughs> oh, wait, no, I was supposed to do it like Nancy. I did it! Uh, uh, Cyan Palace, Pomodoro, the Golden Gardenia Hotel. That's this address. So you should write that down. Words. Oh, look at all the stuff he's got. So, pa the laptop antiques, we need to remember that. Briefcase? I'm sure he takes one of those around with him. Fireproof box, home office. We would probably never need those. Security alarm, also, maybe not. I did not know that's a good substitute, but it, but it makes sense. Cause it's bread, crackers, similar ingredients. Well, Lewis, your computer's boring, buddy. You don't even have a browser. Like, there's nothing else in here except that one file. Mm. Come on, Lewis. All right. Let's wig out of here because it's four in the morning. There's always some saltines laying around, though. I I don't know if I have any saltines. I have um, goldfish in my kitchen. Goldfish probably would work well as breadcrumbs. But did you see this thing move? Did. It moved its neck, yeah. Making sure there's nothing else weird going on over here. Um, hmm, let's see. Charlie's supposed to be there at 8, so maybe we go back to the basement? Hmm. Actually, you know, let's go to sleep and go 
interview some people since we have some more information. Excuse me? Oh, I don't remember looking at that. Did we look at this? Oh, you know what? It's stuck. It's stuck. Oh! We have another key. <gasps> what if that's the... It's um... stuck. Okay, yes, I know it's stuck. What if that's the desk? Hold on. Now we gotta go to the desk before we go to bed. In all seriousness, if someone made a hotel that was a giant escape game and like you had to solve puzzles your whole entire stay, someone needs to get on that. <laughs> There's Lizzie. There's that music we were looking for. And it appears there's a couple of notes that are like highlighted. Can I use you as a desk buddy? So the first note is a B. Uh, the next note is an E. The next one is a G. The next one is an A. And then another G. There aren't any other notes, it looks like. This is the tale of the bandit's loot and how it came to be. That golden dreams of blissful love soon failed you and me. Oh, my love, ride far and fast for me. I'll, ri I'll wait in Yerba Buena Town in the house high above the sea. I traveled as far as the golden gate where I held your treasure true, where the rainbow ends in Christmas gold and the phoenix rises too. Oh, my love, ride far and fast for me. I'll wait in your Buena town in a house high above the sea. Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Is there more to this music than what I'm seeing? Uh, maybe. What am I supposed to do with it, though? The bandit's treasure. Hey, this is what we read about. Performed by the Sumptuous Golden Gardenia Hotel. Sumptuous? Really? Or the bandit, the banker, and the barefooted beauty. Oh my goodness, more reading that we have to do. It's in hard letters. This letter shall serve as an introduction for my faithful employee, Wing Tang, who had been in my service as head chef for over 10 years. It is with much regret that I must discharge him and were it not for the retirement of my establishment, I would still retain his services. E. Valdez. So the hotel closed. Hmm. Oh! Hey, look! Um, Chinese letters. We gotta write these down. I do 
not look like anything <laughs> that an example here. Okay. Hmm. So this one must mean beginning. Part. That appears to be all that is in this desk. So now that we know some music notes, what time is it? Well, let's go back down to the basement. <laughs> I know I said we were gonna go to sleep, but. sleep need answers that's right <laughs> all right so we had our letters B E G A G Here's the key you'll need, the bandit's treasure. I'm not sure how to capture this information. Okay, that's good that we get to keep that. a cipher oh good one good one good one um so maybe we need to you like she said maybe there's something more to this music maybe the cipher will be used on that because it's in the play it's stuck yes we opened the piano and got this um, piece of music Um, it looks dark down there, and I do not have anything to use, so... It's so dark in here. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Well, we talked about subterranean San Francisco. Mm-mm. 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 All right, let's go back upstairs to that music and see if that... Oh, Abby's a snorer, apparently. Always turn the wrong way first every time all right so this is the music yeah yeah you're right find Diego on stairs Diego one two three four five that's a five letter word so we need to look for five letters for that so Diego, Diego, Why 
Why do little kids put everything in their mouth? You know, I wish I knew that answer would be anything that would actually satisfy, but I, I don't think there's a reason. I think it's truly because it's just fun. Something about the floor. I miss it. I miss it. My mother told me because it was one of their easier sensors to understand. I think that is one of the development stages is discovery of things with your mouth. If I remember correctly. It's been a while since I've taken child psychology though. So we got a symbol thing. Diego, I've waited so long for your return, but here kept Diego Coins false floor. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, have kept our treasure true. Here is the tool you will need to find it. In many, may your rainbows never run out of luck. The stars and moon will shine on you as you begin your quest. Move like a knight upon um I don't know what this is. Something something to quickly pass the test. Is this horse? Uh, knight upon something horse? Take care to keep your path in check along the something border so you may see the sun return to claim its rightful order. Here to keep your along the outside border. Okay, okay, okay. I follow you now. Okay, so that sounds kind of similar to like the tapestry we have in our room. Oh, we don't get to take it with us. sleep in this for a little bit and then go talk to people. Thor, that's Thor's sound. <sighs> Morning, Nancy. You only get two hours of sleep. Oh wait, there's one up here. I didn't look at this. Oh, 
I wonder, hold on. Sorry, before we talk to Abby. I wonder what this could do. <laughs> yeah, yes, that worked. Open, <gasps> yay! All right, we found the last tile. Yay! Anything else in here? Oh, what? Dragon eye poetry? Oh, there's another symbol. Alright. So that must mean I. So we have beginning and I and daughter and two others that we don't know yet. Knock, knock. I hope you're convinced now that the spirits are with us. These ghosts are here to stay. Ooh, should we bust her bubble? We should bust her bubble, right? I found out how you rigged the seance table with a projector. <laughs> that was a pretty good show you gave. Okay, so I staged part of the seance. But that still doesn't mean this place isn't haunted. Seances were very popular during the Victorian era, and I plan to entertain our guests with them. It'll be a great way to promote the place. Are you the ghost who is haunting this place? There's more to this house than you think, Nancy. You probably don't believe me, and with good reason, I admit it. But there are some mysteries in life best left unsolved. You know who you're talking to, lady? What kind of person is Charlie? He seems to feel bad about all of these mishaps. Ugh, it's clear to me that Charlie's totally responsible for the accidents. Whoa. Who else could it have been? He's a really nice kid, but he has no idea what he's doing. Unfortunately, Rose doesn't want to fire him. And there's something suspicious about him. That's kind of weird. What do you mean? The other day, I was down in the basement working for over an hour, and suddenly he sneaks up on me. I bet he was down there the whole time, watching me. Hmm. Do you know much about Lewis? It must be great having your own expert on Victorians. He owns Chandler Interiors, a very reputable antique store. I'm sure his clients will be quite interested in our bed and breakfast once they hear about our resident ghost. Right. Right. How long have you known Rose? A couple of years. She has good business sense, but I think she needs to think more about advertising. Otherwise, we're just like all the other B&Bs in this town, and believe me, there's plenty of them. Hmm. I saw those papers in the parlor. Where did you find them? Right in my room. They're so vintage. I'm going to ask Lewis if he can get me some antique frames for them. Rose and I can use the letters in our historical display. Historical display? Yes, they're very popular in bed and breakfast. They usually contain old photographs, letters, documents, things like that. Oh. Were there any photographs with the papers? I did find this old picture of a woman dressed in men's clothing. I think it was taken in the entryway by the staircase. I sent it to a photographer to have it restored. Oh. I don't want to ask about the hallway yet. Was there anything else in the photograph that was odd? I don't remember anything else. Hmm. I heard someone crying in the hallway. Was that you? I told you the spirits were interested in you. Was it a woman crying? Yes, it was. 
How did you know? It must be one of our phantom residents. Do you know who this phantom could be? Well, it wasn't me crying out there. Yeah, I don't really trust you, lady. You faked a seance. I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Have a celestial day. Don't tell me what to do. All right. I'm gonna save our game here. Because you're coming right up on time. Whew. So definitely a lot of nostalgia in this game. It's it's definitely um bringing back a lot of memories. This is the music, the the, the puzzles. The characters they're all so good so like I said um, I will be on again tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Eastern I play uh, Friday Saturdays and Sundays we'll continue through a uh, message in a haunted mansion till we're done uh, if we finish before Sunday uh, I'll try maybe a different game on Sunday maybe something new maybe I'll play stray Perhaps we'll find it. But um, I thank everyone for joining in today and, and contributing into the chat. It's been great. Uh, and so I hope that you all have a good rest of your Friday, hopefully dry and not rainy like it is here. And I'll catch you all tomorrow.